Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing three emulators on the Ryzen 5 3600. A lot of you requested it, so if you want to skip to any of the games and emulators tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. The emulators tested will be Simu, the Wii U emulator, on Zelda Breath of the Wild. Then I'll show you RPCS3, the PS3 emulator on Demon Souls, Persona 5 and Red Dead Redemption. And finally I'll show you Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator on Halo 3 and Red Dead Redemption once again. I didn't do the Nintendo Switch emulators since I ran into issues getting the shader cache working. In the CMU emulator I used 1080p and cranked up the shadows a little bit. These components were enough to get over 60 frames per second. I saw some stutters here and there on more GPU bound places, but on the CPU heavy scenarios we got great results overall. You should get even better numbers if you have a more powerful graphics card in this case. And I'll talk to you again in the next emulator. Now I'm testing RPCS3, this emulator is CPU bound in comparison to the others tested today, so I'll be forcing 1080p on all these, since increasing the resolution here will only affect the GPU, which is already not being used much. Demon Souls can maintain 30 FPS pretty well, even in larger areas, but there are some spikes in the frame times in bigger places. Also make sure to enable right color buffers for this game. In the other two, keep it disabled. Then on Persona 5, I didn't have any problems hitting constant 30 FPS. The game runs fantastically well. Afterwards, on Red Dead Redemption, we don't get anywhere close to playable FPS. This game isn't in the playable state just yet, but hopefully as time goes on, this one runs better. And I'll talk to you again in the next emulator. Persona! Ravage 
Gonna find sturdier horses than these in all the new offices. Hello there. If you say so, they can slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. You don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers?
and finally Xenia. On this one I'll be testing Red Dead Redemption again and Halo 3. This emulator uses GPU a lot more than RPCS3, but it will use CPU too. Red Dead seems to run better overall, but we still didn't get playable FPS, and Halo 3 has a lot of stutter. In Halo 3 it seems to be more of a GPU limitation, but again all these emulators are still being worked on, so hopefully we get improvements soon. Right now I'm waiting for CMU to release the Vulcan API to everyone. Apparently it's not perfect yet, but I'm sure it will benefit performance in the not so distant future. So that's a Ryzen 5 3600 on 3 emulators. With a faster GPU expect better numbers on CMU and Xenia, but not so much of a difference on RPCS3. But anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Close. Johnson, you be advised. Hostiles are on the move. I've got eyes on a brute. Over. Say again, Gunny. You're breaking up. Sergeant Major, Phantom inbound. Prophet's a liar, but you a fool. 